All right, guys. Um, so today we are showing off AGL Super Vegito's Easy A. Um, he is really good, but he's not like on the level of like Physical Vegito Blues Easy A. Who, I mean, we'll get to his categories later, but we most of the time we'd like to run them together. Um, but anyways, let's start to break him down. If you know what he does, feel free to skip forward to the video a little bit. If you're rocking with me, let's go. Um, his leader skill gives AGL types four key and 100 percent, and that's a pretty good leader skill. Um, but the thing about that leader skill is like. A lot of times leader skills like this you'll use in Dokkan Battlefield, um, but AGL has so many Dokkan Battlefield leaders. Like, just off the top of my head, they have LR Gohan, LR Super Saiyan 4 Goku, they have the Super Sa they have the Transforming Goku, they have Super Saiyan 4 Vegeta, um, they have LR Goten and Trunks, they have LR Kale and Khalifla, they have Bardock. It's like, this leader skill would be good if it was any type other than Super AGL, you know? Um, but anyways, down to Super Attack, he causes immense damage to enemy, and raises his allies attack by 35% for one turn. Uh, that's okay. I mean, like, it's nothing super special, but it's good. Um, and then his passive, he gets attack plus, and attack and defense plus 40% within the same turn after receiving an attack, and then he foresees enemy super attack when HP is 40% or below, um, and damage received, uh, by normal attacks, minus 80%, and counters with tremendous power. So... That's pretty good, um, but, like, if we just look at it, like, unless if you're in, like, extreme super battle road, you're never really gonna get to see enemy super attacks, um, cause in any other stage in the game, you haven't, like, the enemies don't hit hard enough for you to go from, like, max HP to below 40%, um, and, but there it's super useful, attacking demons plus 40% isn't great, but he is a counter unit, um, so, like, I can kind of understand why they just did that. Um, I think they could have just given it to him at the start of turn, like they did to Physical Vegito Blue. And remember, Physical Vegito Blue gets additionals as well, so it's just like, they, they could have done it with this guy. Um, so anyways, moving on to his links, he has Golden Warrior, Super Saiyan, Prepared for Battle, Power Bestowed by God, Fuse Fighter, Shocking Speed, and Fierce Battle. He has an incredible link set. Um, if you have Prepared for Battle and Shocking Speed, um, I mean, just links are insane. This is probably the worst part of this card by far. Um, he's only on three categories. He's on Majin Buu Saga, Potara, and Super Saiyan. Um, and this, that's what I was saying. I was like, Physical Vegito Blue, it's like on the Potara team, which is really the... I mean, Super Saiyan is a real team, but I don't have Super Saiyan Goku. Um, so, we're just gonna hop in. Um, so, as you can see, also one thing, I don't have the LR Super Saiyan uh, uh, Vegito, uh, who is the leader for Potara, either. So, it's just like... The only way I can really run this guy is if I run Kefla as my lead. I mean, sorry about that, but I've just gotten really shafted. Like, I think I've gone over 3,000 stones on banners with LR Super Vegito on them, and I just have never pulled him. Okay. I'm curious what his attack stat's going to be. His attack stat here, 1.49 is pretty good. I would like to compare that to Physical Vegito Blue, please. Okay, 1.69. Um... So they get the same percent. Does Physical Vegito Blue have a higher attack stat? Hold up. I do want to check that out real quick. Of course, we got this Primo Pie of Time just completely in the wrong spot. Uh, so he has 18-7. Oh, 19-1. He does. Oh, he has... Man, they really did just make Physical Vegito Blue just a better version of AGL Vegito. I mean, don't get me wrong. AGL Vegito does have, um, like higher damage reduction, but because Physical Vegito Blue greatly raises attack and defense on super attack, I mean, like, I would rather use Physical Vegito Blue defensively, offensively, I mean, just, like, everything, he's just a little better, like, his, it's easier for him to get his passive active, he has a higher attack stat, he gets additionals, it's, I know I shouldn't be comparing them, because, like, on JP, AGL Vegito Blue came out before Physical Vegito Blue even had his easy A, um, but, you know, and see, like, this right here is one of the major problems. Um, because he's not getting hit before he attacks, when he attacks here, he's not going to, um, like, have the 40% attack on his super attack. So here's the attack that's going to go way down. He's still over a million, which is pretty good. I mean, that's that's literally just his attack stat, the immense modifier, and SA15. That's all that is. Um, okay, is he going to finish off? If he crits, he might. Crit? Okay, he has full crit, and I'm not sure if he's crit yet. Um, Physical Vegito Blue won't do me wrong, though. Physical Vegito Blue is probably my favorite unit in the game. <laughs> I mean, when I first pulled it... So, his banner was, like, the second time I ever spent money on this game. The first time was Int Ultimate Gohan, but I mean, like, we're not going to talk about that. Um, so, I remember, 
I got super lucky. I got like two copies of him in like three cycles, and I thought I was the luckiest person alive. And that was the first, like after I pulled him, was the first time I was really able to like awaken units, like Dokon Fest units. Because before that, I remember there were two units on my account that I had Dokon awakened. It was the Int, um, like Super Saiyan Gohan, and the Tech Super Saiyan 2 Goku. Um, those two units were the only two units that I had Dokkan Awakened because you could farm them pretty easily. Like, their events weren't too hard. And that was back when Dokkan events were still, like, kind of difficult. Alright, so we do have the Supreme Opi of Time on a rotation here. Um, this time I would actually like Super Vegito not to crit on his counters. Because uh, I do want to see his attack stat here with the Supreme Opi of Time on a rotation. Okay, he's getting supered right away, which is just bad because he doesn't even have his defense here. If he got it supered in the second slot, then he would have had his defense. Ooh, a million damage. And over 2 million attack stat is nice. Now, if you run a double Super Vegito lead, um, LR Super Vegito, that is, um, I think he probably could have been at, like, 2.2, maybe 2.3 there. Um, so do just keep that in mind, that mine, you know, my leads aren't ideal. Um, we'll just do that. And then I'll give him all those orbs, because I don't want to die. I don't think he, any way we're going to die here, though, because Zamasu has damage reduction and defense. Oh. They don't have damage reduction, though. We're not going to die, but this is going to hurt. 13 can hurt you. 242,000. Oh, my gosh. Did I bring items? I don't think I brought items. I better hope we don't get super next. Actually, next turn, we're going to have his ability to see super attacks, actually. That is really clutch. All right. I didn't think we were actually going to get that in this video. I wasn't going to make that, like, a priority or anything. But... I mean, it just happened naturally, because this 13 event hits like a freight train. Okay, nice dodge. No, it didn't do any damage anyway. Alright, let's see where he's super attacking. Okay, he's not super attacking at all. Um, man, everything in my body wants me to put physical Vegito Blue up front, just because he would do more damage. Um, but I'm not going to do that. This is AGL Super Vegito's video, and I think AGL Super Vegito is probably going to finish this off here. Okay, so he got his full passive, just one attack in the front, which is actually ideal. So that way he gets his passive before he super attacks, but then most of his counters are after he gives that 35% attack buff um, to himself and everyone on this rotation. Um, so the only thing here is 13's defense is so high, um, he pretty much is only going to take damage if he crits, but I mean, if he crits, that's a lot of damage. Ooh, double crits in a row. You want to crit again? Okay, no. I was, I was getting, you know, unrealistic. Um, so now I think we are just going to cut into a different event. I almost said to a different team, but I mean, like, the thing about his category teams, at least on Global, he has three of them. Majin Buu Saga, you can't use him on because the only leader is a Super Vegito. Um, Potara, you need to have a summonable LR to properly use. Whoa, I did not expect to fuse with them. Um, and then Super Saiyan, you have to have Transforming Goku, who's only been back on bad banners. Um, so, you know. What are you going to do? Um, we're going to cut to a different event because I, I do want to show off AGL Super Vegito a little more with a little few more support type units. Um, I will be back in a second. Two. Okay, so we're back here. Um, <laughs> there's very little HP in, against this cooler. Like, if he doesn't super in the first slot, um, we're just going to finish him off with one counter here. But what are you going to do? Um, I was trying to save a lot more HP here, but STR Rose got an additional super last time, so there wasn't really anything I could do about it. Um, but next time we get that rotation, we are going to have support, and here I'm actually going to float off the Cheeto, and then we're going to have support the turn after that too. Um, and there's nothing I can do here as far as key goes. We'll just do that, I guess. Um, see, like, on Potara, which is a team that I don't run much because I don't have LR Super for Cheeto, um, but in my experience running it, um... It just feels like I'm saving up key for no one. Like, most of the time when I run a team, there's at least one, like, super key on your unit, whether it's a nuker or an LR. But so far on Patara, it's like, I'm saving up all of this physical key, and there's no one really to give it to. <laughs> and I know um, that's, like, like probably because I don't... Well, not even probably. It is because I don't have LR Super Vegito, but also because on Global, we don't have, um, like, LR Goku Black yet. We don't have um, LR Blue Vegito yet. Um, so we have had this rotation before, but let's just look at it again. Um, got his passive active. 
and then I would like to see him get a double super one time just to see what his attack stat goes to because um, his attack stat would go up after his first attack okay nope he crit and finished cooler off immediately fantastic okay um, what are we doing here I'll just eh, I don't care we'll just do that I actually do not want cooler to take all those attacks um, we'll do that I'm not trying to stop getting supers anymore because it's like after next rotation I think we've seen everything I want to see in this video um, AG AGL Super Vegito is definitely a really good unit um, he excels in difficult events um, and he's okay for Dokkan events um, but it's like it's hard for me not to compare him to physical Vegito Blue and physical Vegito Blue is just better and that's something that like I'm kind of upset about but also not really because physical Vegito Blue if you remember like did come out like what eight months after AGL Vegito Blue um, so it makes sense that he's better um, are we not gonna finish this off if we don't finish this off I'm actually gonna be pretty upset please crit see like th this is why I'm kind of upset because he has so little HP left okay whatever um, ooh look at all those attacks there AGL Vegito hop on that um, but the sad part about this AGL Vegito is like because he has like no categories after this video well, and a few other videos, because I'm going to take him into, like, the difficult events and stuff. Um, I'm never going to use him again. <laughs> Except for, I guess I might use him during the five-year anniversary when, like, LR Blue Vegito comes out. But, like, you know, what are you going to do? Um, I think I'm going to get next rotation, and then I'm just going to call it a video. Because um, it's not like I can take him to different category teams. I mean, the Super Saiyan team would be really nice, but, you know, I've already said that I don't have that Goku. Um, but during Part 2... Um, to th wait, is that, yeah, during part two of this celebration, actually, um, we should be getting, um, the LR Super Saiyan Goku, um, and you probably shouldn't summon on that banner, to be honest, I mean, do what you want with your stones, but I mean, it, it probably won't be smart to summon on that banner, um, but it's not bad, um, it's a double rates banner with all of the LRs on it, and the new Super Saiyan Goku, the LR Super Saiyan Goku, is on it as well, um, and he is also a leader for Super Saiyan, but he only gives, I think, it's 4 key and 130. So it's not like it's a crazy good leader skill, but you could definitely use that. Um, another reason why I wanted to see one more rotation is just because pretty much every rotation in this fight, um, we started and the enemy had, like, no HP left. Okay, please don't die. Thank you. <laughs> and plus here, oh, look at, okay, so here once again we got his passive active, so we can see where he's super attacking. Um, and he has type advantage, and he's gonna get his full passive. This the only way this rotation could be better is if we got support here. But we can see super attacks, um, which there are none. It's kind of hard to tell sometimes when an SCR unit is super attacking because like the way that it, the game tells you is there's a little, like a little red ring outside of the character. But like because of the character, like the inner ring is already red, sometimes it's difficult to see. Okay, AGL Vegito just molly whopped cooler. Um, but anyways, this guy is definitely really, really good. Um, he would look slightly better if you ran him on double LR Vegito, I do admit that. Um, but I'm definitely pretty impressed. If you guys did enjoy this video, please consider leaving a like, a comment, subscribing to the channel. My name is Blahalu, and I will see you guys next time.